welcome back to the channel. Hi, hello, how are you? It is Stephanie of E Planning back out again for another video. In today's video, we have a very fun and exciting um, unboxing of the Creativity and Ink Halloween advent calendar, I believe. Let me just go on her Instagram really quickly um, to guesstimate some of the logistics for this guy. Um, but I want to say it was mostly the Haunted Mansion themed, if not completely the Haunted Mansion theme, to be I kind of bought it just being like, well, I love everything that Angela creates anyway, so might as well. Um, I don't think there's any logistics on here. Hold on. Um, yeah, so I want to say it's like the Haunted Mansion themed and all the extras either will be or should be in her shop, like either by the time this video goes up or sometime in early November. I'm pretty sure that's what she posted on Instagram, but I can't find the post and I don't really want to like search through all her stories or whatever. Um, and yeah that's basically it i genuinely don't know what's in here and i also don't really remember the format of this guy so i'm just gonna go ahead and open everything up i will try to keep everything in the packaging that it like comes in just because i do think that it would still be fun to kind of open things up i don't know i'm debating if i want to open things up during um like on instagram stories leading up to halloween or if i just want to put everything away so I can remember to use it during the actual spooky season, you know what I mean? But also, to be honest, like, I'm, like, 10,000 weeks behind anyway, so would it even matter if I'm trying to use it for the week of Halloween season? I don't know. We're gonna get there eventually, so let's go ahead and just get on started with. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and just open this guy up. Hopefully I didn't move it out of frame because I'm not really super wanting to check it right now. Um, I also did, like, obviously cover up my address and everything on here, but I don't know if there will be an invoice in this guy or if I should have used even, like, my slice tool to cut this guy up. So let's go ahead and just get on into it. Um, I'm kind of really excited to see what this is because, like, I don't remember the last time I opened up something and having it be, like, 100% a surprise kind of a thing. So, oh, I'm already really excited. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get on into it. So I want to say this is the like freebie. Okay, so it says, let me just make sure that I'm in frame for this guy. Okay, we're in frame. The battery's gonna never we're in frame. Um, so it just says, welcome foolish mortals to the Halloween to the haunted mansion Halloween calendar. Please board your doom buggy and open day one on October 19th. Thank you for joining us and thank you for purchasing our first ever Halloween washi calendar. Wow, okay, so now I just remember like this is all 100% washies, I believe. Um, and then this is just like the freebie that came with it. So you get like a bunch of different um haunted mansion things. So you have like Madame Rose Marta in her little crystal ball, the little like magic ears, a foolish mortal, and then ghost host, just like the Disney pin type of things um a cute little like mickey headband the haunted mansion itself with the three ghosts on there and then the clock which i think is really cute let me open this up to make sure there's nothing else in here okay no it's just those two things and this is on this feels like it's on the like manufactured paper that her subscriptions are on um which i don't really mind because it's deco pieces anyways so like i'm not gonna use it for anything else um or like i'm not gonna try to write on it that's what i'm gonna say and then this is so cute it's like black uh, tissue paper and it says welcome to the haunted mansion and i'm really excited like uh -huh. Low key, high key, very excited. Oh, and then this bunch of little baggies. Okay, so we're just gonna put this guy to the side. If you can't see, they're all like black baggies and they have a little, um, like sticker that says Haunted Mansion Halloween calendar. I'll play them in frame. Um, and then there's like some stuff. I mean, what is there's like a giant thing in the back, which I'm kind of hoping is candy because I really like candy. But let's go ahead and just get into this. I'm gonna put this to the side uh, and then grab them all one by one. Let me just reset the frame and I'll probably have some washi going down on the side so I know like when I am in and out of frame. Okay, so a few quick disclaimers like I don't have one of those viewfinders that pops out to make sure that I'm in frame or whatever. Um, so I did just take like this little tapey from Creativity and Ink and make a little border. So if you guys see some little ghosties peeking out on the sides that's this guy this, this is um and then i also did pull out my spooky washi cutter from fox and cactus this is just like a little tombstone with a little bat on it because i thought like it matched the theme kind of um and then i also have my little swatchy book b6 planner from um, print pression um that i just use for swatching purposes so i'm actually gonna like go ahead and get a new page and then just write like creativity And ink Halloween 22 
advent <laughs> i'm really excited okay i wrote that really sloppy but like it's fine so let's go ahead and just open this guy up this is day one of the creativity and ink advent i will also try to have timestamps on the bottom bar below in case you wanted to like watch along as you are opening them up and the first one oh the first one is a cute little set wow i love these so you guys already know that i absolutely love all of the five millimeter tapes from creativity and ink they're my favorite things to pull into the sidebar and i also think that like they would be really cute headers they're not as like tall enough to cover up the headers space um but they are still like cute enough in my opinion <laughs> to like cover like to have a cute little separation and i also like to pull them into spreads like if i need a like a separator border type just Thing to take up some space if I have like awkward spacing throughout the day. These are genuinely perfect in my opinion for that. Um, so yeah, I'll have to see it. You guys are going to see me at struggle bus opening up all of these washies because I don't know how to do anything right now because I just took my nails off like two days ago and I just got used to them too. Um, so <laughs> we're going to struggle bus the hand movement situation. So these are actually really cute. This is like a really dark like emeraldy green color. This is like a nice baby blue like almost like robin's egg -y type blue color and this is just just like a standard gray like i would say like a very true mid-tone type gray part of me wants to swatch these here the rest of me kind of wants to put them with the rest of my five millimeter tapes i think that's what we're gonna do um is put them with my five millimeters just because that's what makes the most sense to me and my head and also like this is my swatch book so literally might as well um so we're gonna put this gray one down here and this is like the normal five millimeter pattern let me see if i have anything else to show you guys in this pattern i don't think i do um but this is like just the normal confetti type five millimeters you can see at the bottom i have the halloween ones but these don't have anything like halloween specific on them they are very much so just like generically disney so you have like minnie's bow i can't find the end of this tape um but you have like minnie's bow you have a mickey head and then you have like just some stars and confetti little dots going around everywhere let me put this guy down right here so you can kind of see the like differences in the pattern hopefully i won't zoom in like with the camera lens but hopefully i can zoom in um like in post when i'm editing this guy um but you can see that there's like just little like mickey heads mickey ears little bows and stars versus like the halloween one that has like the mickey head and then bats and spiders instead of the bows and mickey ears kind of thing so i think that's really cute and let's go ahead and go on to the green one so these colors are also very different from like five millimeters that i've gotten from creativity and ink in the past which i absolutely love because again you guys already know that i love <laughs> everything about angela's shop but like because i have i think i have every single one of the five millimeters that she's released if not very close to all of them and again like you can tell like with these colors they are very much so different from what i already have in my collection so chances are if we have the same collection um you won't have any of these colors already which i absolutely love um let me just Find the edge of these guys i probably should have swatched them in both spots actually so i'm gonna swatch them in here so i can like reference them but i'm also going to swatch them in the like other part where i had the um where i wrote down that this is the advent just because they do technically go with the advent and i feel like in my head i would like to see everything that came in the advent as like as a whole in future reference um just because in case it doesn't add it again like i would like to be able to do comparisons and remember like oh this is where i got these from you know what i mean so there is that so let me just go ahead and finish swatching these guys here i probably could have just swatched them here only and then gone back and swatched them with my other five millimeters whenever i'm done filming this so i think i might do that like if there are other five millimeters that come with this guy um but honestly so far so cute <laughs> this makes me so excited for the rest of them because like i feel like even with this being like it goes with the theme of it being haunted mansion but it also is like in my opinion generic enough like just with the foil pattern on it um that it can be pulled into anything which i'm really excited about so those are the three washies that came with the or that were part of day one let's go ahead and just put those guys to the side let's go ahead and go on to day two so for day two we have this cute little like ghost host again i like the little like i don't know if characters is the right word but the little things that she put like on the stickers themselves this one was just little bats and this one that says ghost host this is for day two of the creepy and ink advent let's go ahead and open this guy up and this one feels like it's just one giant like 15 millimeter washi which is 
in my opinion, the standard size, and this is actually really cute. So this is just all of the different little nameplate, name tag e type things. I think this is more of like cast member in reference to the Haunted Mansion ride, which was one of the questions that I had like when purchasing this guy was like, is this more the ride or the movie? And to be honest, I'm okay with either. <laughs> so there is that. So let's go ahead and just put this guy down on here. And it's like this really pretty like wallpaper y background, like the Haunted Mansion wallpaper background where it's like purple with the like little black pattern. And then you have some different things that say either Foolish Mortal or Ghost Host. <laughs> it says Regions Beyond and then Haunted Mansion and it has a little Haunted Mansion on it. So I think that is very much so very cute for day two of the advent. And now on to day three, we have the little maid person. I forget everybody's names because I haven't watched the movie yet for spooky season, but we will watch it at some point eventually. Um, so let's go ahead and get in at two day three. Um, let's see if I can even open this up. Wow, okay, so I really, really like this one. This one, again, is like more, like it's still on the theme of Haunted Mansion, but it's very much so more like generally usable as opposed to like, this one is like just 100% Haunted Mansion, but I feel like it's more in the vein with the five millimeter washi. So I think it'll also be interesting to see like once we have everything laid down as a whole to see like which things were very specific and which things were not as specific so this is just like a really pretty like dark emerald e green and black striped pattern um with some mickey heads stars and dots which i think is really cute you can just like throw in throw this in as like a 15 millimeter let's say that you don't like the washi that comes with the kit or you think this would match this a little bit better you could just throw this in with a 15 millimeter strip or you can my favorite thing to use washies for is scrapbooking type purposes so using this as like just a little border like some picture frames not border picture frames but like to tape pictures onto your planner i think would be really cute as well so there is that guy i think i will definitely get a lot of use out of this one from like the three that we have so far so that was day and next we have day four and i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit scared right now that this was not the box because it was like underneath the, like the next couple of days so i did take some of them out to put this one in but i haven't like opened any of them off screen or anything so this one is day four and then you have little madame rose Marta and her little crystal ball right there and let's go ahead and open this guy up i wonder if no i was gonna say i wonder if like the little stickers are sneaks as to what's inside but oh maybe they are that's oh that would be really smart so like this one has little madame rose Marta, and this is like a crystal ball type one i love this this is giving me like cinderella vibes it might just be the blue um but i think those would be really cute to pull into like any sort of blue type spread like i will you will see me using this in the springtime for sure without a doubt and especially if you like with the um spc haunted mansion kits like if you wanted to brighten this brighten up the kit pulling in the five millimeter and then this one together would be really really cute um just to kind of make the colors a little bit more like if you're more of a bright person instead of a darks person um you can definitely pull this guy in to be on there this is really cute so it's just madame rose Marta and then the little bell and the little tambourine i forgot what it was called for a second but the little tambourine and again like i love all the little like speckled bits and this is really cute so like usually in creativity and ink washies you would have again like i'll zoom in and post not really what i'm doing right now um but you'll have little just like dots and mickey heads as the confetti in the background but i think this is cute and it kind of goes with again just like the scenes in the movie because you have some cute little music quotes along with little dots and mickey heads which i think is actually really cute so that is it for day four and i'm over just like cheesing with how stunning this is so that was day four Alrighty, and then now on to day five again we're gonna like test the theory of these stickers being like um what's called teasers into what the washi themselves are going to be because this one has a cute little like wedding cake on the front of it so let's see if the inside is wow okay this is so cute oh my gosh wow okay so i my morbid self thinks that this is my new favorite washi tape of all time um because this is very like spooky or whatever and i think that like if you had uh this is giving me annabelle vibes so i think like if you had an annabelle themed kit or just like a general spooky characters type kit having this washi in there as well would be really cute and i absolutely love the red foil that's something that i don't think i've seen creativity and ink do at all um so the red foil with the little blood drips are just genuinely making my entire life and i am here for it um so again you have like just a little wedding cake the little like bride i forgot her name but 
but the girl the bride um and then a little axe and then it says i do i did and i think that's so cute and again like little blood drips little mickey heads and dots in the backgrounds like the font that she chose i think all this is just so stunning and i am here for all that i will say that there is a little bit of like when you use the tape it looks like it does pick up a little bit of the foil that was underneath it so you can see some of the blood drips going down on like the the back side of the washi but i personally don't mind it i think it kind of adds to the tape and it gives like a little bit like of a depth perception i would much rather it pick up the foil versus like the print itself because i'm not gonna like like if i had a bride and then another one hiding like right behind her i'd be kind of salty but like because it's just the foil i am a okay with it and that's just like my personal opinion with tapes and that does also kind of just tend to happen with foil and tapes especially with like lighter ones you do tend to see a little bit more of like a shadowing on them so i'm personally okay with it but also again it's just like my cup of tea kind of a thing so this is day one one, two three four five this is day five <laughs> again i'm very excited for that so now we have day six and this is the haunted mansion itself with the little ghosties in the front of it and i don't know why for this for some reason this tape gives me like christmas e vibes and <laughs> or not the tape the little like sticker on it gives me christmas e vibes so maybe this will be like a christmas e um themed washi tape which would in my opinion be really cool because i am a holly jelly person through and through oh wow okay so this is this doesn't look christmas -y, y but it does look like it's just the mansion over and over again and i would say this is the only one that i might potentially have a dupe for just because i am subscribed to the creativity and ink magical mailer subscription so let's go ahead and just swatch this guy out again this one was day six um let's see if i can swatch out i don't actually know if like I have one already like this but i want to see that i do because this feels familiar if that makes any sense um i don't know that there was a haunted mansion subscription for creativity and ink not that long ago um but yeah again it's still really cute you have like the cute little foil ghosties in front of the housey and then the little mickey heads let me see if i could find that haunted mansion one um she's in here somewhere which is a good thing about swatching this is that i don't have to go through and look for like my entire collection to see if i can find something like i could just look through here okay okay i know so it's super different so like these are the tapes that were in at the haunted mansion collection and then this is this one so it would essentially be like if this one and oh wait no okay so there isn't one that has little like dudes i thought there was one that has little dudes on it but there's not which makes me very much so excited and then also the mansion on this one is different from the mansion on this one which again i appreciate because as a person who has basically everything that angela has ever released i am very happy that like this isn't a dupey one because i'm not gonna lie that is something that i was like kind of nervous for um but still it's all very different and very cute and i'm here for every single second of it so that was day and now on to day seven this feels like more five millimeter tapes which again i would 100 percent be here for just because like they are my favorite tapes and the ones that i use the most out of all of angela's things wow okay so this is really cool so this looks like they're different patterned ones so this one looks like it's the wallpaper one this one looks like it's the striped one and then this one it just looks like it's a different shade of blue from the one that i already showed you guys so like you can see it's like this one's a very like light blue this one's more like a teal turquoise -y type of blue which is really really cool so go ahead and just swatch all of these guys let me open this guy up a little bit um so you guys will be able to see them a little bit better i'm gonna try to open them all at once just to kind of have them all one and done kind of thing instead of trying to sit here and open them and then swatch them and like readjust my hands for all of them but i like this um if i can get the plasticky off i like the idea of having like a pattern behind the five millimeters just because i don't know like part of me thinks that that makes them a little bit more versatile because if there's multiple colors on a five millimeter tape it's like i would have more of a chance of matching it to a specific spread or anything but also like if the pattern is too specific i don't know like, how like valid that thought process is if that makes any sense but it's like i feel like because it's this pattern and this pattern um that it goes pretty well because you can't really like this one is 100 like just completely fine i could pull it into anything because it's a pretty like just general pattern this one is a little bit more specific to the haunted mansion but i feel like it's small enough and there's enough foil covering all this stuff anyways um that it doesn't really matter and then these are oh my gosh this is actually really cute this is the like halloween -y type pattern of the five millimeter tapes so you'll see like when i swatch them on the little swatch book or whatever um this one's the one that has like the little spiders and bats instead of mickey ears and little mini mouse bow like they're 100 just spooky season type but i almost said bows um 
five millimeters and I am 100% very excited for this. You will definitely be seeing me put these guys into all of my spreads. I did already film like my October kit lineup. By the time you guys are watching this, hopefully you guys have seen it by now. Um, but I did already film my October kit lineup. I've just been having the world's biggest struggle bus with trying uh, to upload it. But with that being said, um, most of the washies will probably change now because I will find a way to like pull these into whatever spreads that I can. Like I think this one would be really cute to pull into like the Zombina one. And then this one would be really cute to pull into the... Um, like just the Nightmare Before Christmas themed kit that I have and then this one would be really cute to pull into the what's it called like the Hocus Pocus kit from Cafe with Anna I think like just the colors match and again the spooky pattern the spooky foiled over top of it is like you will only see me using these guys in a spooky season so let's go ahead and just finish swatching these guys all uh, I probably could have swatched them a little bit closer together but that's fine actually no it's not fine we're just gonna move them up really quickly <laughs> so let me just put them closer together so I know that they all came together for like the same day kind of a thing versus not okay for sure so now I have those guys those are the three tapes that came with this section of the well I can't even take this off of the mailer what are we on day seven yeah this was day seven so this is day seven of the haunted mansion advent and i again just absolutely love all the five millimeters and now on to day eight we have the cute little clock on this guy and we'll see if the clock is anywhere on this washi tape which i kind of really hope for i think like a clock pattern would be really, really cute um and yeah okay so this one is the little clocks and again it's on like the super like deep emerald e green background but not like the stripes it's just like a flat emerald green which again like i think is really really cute you can actually pair these guys up pretty well together i think and it would look really cute as just like a whole cohesive spread type situation like if you wanted to put this guy on top of this one i think it would be really cute and like very green but also like very up my alley if that makes any sense so there is that guy let's go ahead and swatch this one out And this one again is like very much so on the more spooky feel because you have like the little Mickey bats in the background instead of just like regular Mickey heads and dots. You have like the Mickey bats, um, Mickey heads, and then just a little dots in the background, which I absolutely love. So that was day, oh, I don't know if it goes on frame. That was day, what are we on? Eight? Yeah, that was day eight of the advent. I'm gonna go ahead and start swatching them on this side as well. And now we have day nine of the ha ha Haunted Mansion Halloween advent. <laughs> this is a time booster for me for sure, if you guys could not already tell. Um, and I am lucky kind of here for it because I am very much a fan of alliteration, even though for me alliteration is almost always a tongue twister, which that part is not really the bee's knees, but that's fine. So this is, wow, okay, so this is one that I was waiting for. I was kind of like hoping that she was going to have this be a pattern for one of the tapes because I just think this is, again, just generally so stinking cute. It's the same like light blue color that is on the Madame Rose Murda, um this one but this one's just the ghosties and this really cute hollow foil that's one thing that like with the smaller foil pieces under my studio lights i definitely cannot tell whether things are silver or hollow um but this one i think because the foil pieces are so big like it's pretty easy to tell that this one is just a straight up hollow which i absolutely love um but i also like don't mind that like for smaller tapes or for smaller foil pieces you can't tell because that means that it's a lot easier for me to just throw them into random spreads and hope for the best you know what i mean <laughs> So there is that um and this is again just like the blue pattern with the little ghosties in front of it it's like the ghosties that are on here but just blown up and on the background and again i just think this is really cute and also again matching these two together i think would be very much so a cute vibe and i'm a fan of like having a like repeating pattern and then just like the regular falling pattern type situation so that was day nine and now on to day 10 we have this guy which I'm trying to like pull out. I'm noticing that I, it's getting a lot harder for me to take things out of these little tapies, but I'm still 100% here for all of it. Okay, so this is really cute. This is two different Mickey head patterns um, on a like purple background. It's, I would say this is the same. No, this is different because we haven't had any purple backgrounds. We've had like the purple wallpaper a couple of times, but not just like a straight up purple, which again, I'm here for it because it'll be easier to throw this guy into anything and everything. Um, go ahead and swatch this guy out so i don't know what the flower pattern is from but the purple pattern on the like deeper mickey heads is just like the i don't want to say standard but like the standard haunted mansion wallpaper pattern if that makes any sense so there is that guy 
you have like the like more like flowery print pink bow i would say like my personality and then like a true haunted mansion um mickey head if that makes any sense so there is that one let's go ahead and get on to it day so for day 11 we just have like a little spooky ghosty on the top of the little sticker and i'm kind of intrigued to see like what that would be that would manifest into as a little tapey um oh this is cute it's like all the little characters as like little like chi it's not chibi sum sum style and i think this is definitely like super cute and i'm a fan of the sum sum style not like i'm not really a big fan of like the sum sum plushies because i know that like the second that i buy one i would fall into a giant rabbit hole so I'm mostly just saying that i'm not a fan so i don't fall into the giant rabbit hole of purchasing all of them um but i do think that like the style of them is definitely super cute and i this is probably the weirdest thing to say but i feel like this shade of gray is my favorite thing because it is definitely like a very true like halfway between black and white which i think would make it a little bit more versatile because you can throw it into like darker spreads but you can also throw it into lighter spreads and it won't look super like off if that makes any sense you know so we have the different ghosties um and the maid person and again like i feel really bad because i don't remember any of these things because i haven't seen this movie and i probably should watch the movie before i started unboxing this guy but i got it in the mail and i was like <laughs> we're gonna unbox this asap as possible so that's where we are now um i just think this is so cute and again like just i really like these blue colors like i don't remember if the ghosties are actually blue in the movie um but i do really really like all the different blue colors and like just the random living person <laughs> living for the living person you know so there is that guy that would stay what was this 11 and now on to day 12 we have this little um spooky guy that one was so easy to rip i don't understand why that one was so easy to rip um the little spooky guy with his head in the jar and again <laughs> i love this anything with the red foil is definitely my vibe my alley and i love that like both of the ones that have the red foil is very much so like a contrast between a very grayscale neutral e type tape with just the red foil as a pop which is again my new favorite thing and i kind of hope that angela does a lot more red foil things maybe if she does a hollow not halloween <laughs> this is literally the halloween advent maybe if she does a christmas time advent um if there's some red foils in there i would genuinely be living for them um so there is that <laughs> i think this is so cute and it's definitely the spookiest like this one out of all the ones that i have shown so far is one that gives me the most like terrifying vibes um like too spooky to look at almost <laughs> but also i am a little baby and i get scared of everything and Coraline is terrifying so like Coraline is terrifying this is gonna be terrifying you know what i mean but i think again it's still really cute and i like the little detail of the little like like spider web e type pattern in the, the red foil and then again just the little mickey heads and little dots going in at the around of it <laughs> like these two are kind of i think those are my favorites just because of the red foil alone is my new favorite thing so that was day oh, last but certainly not least we have day 13 and i'm kind of sad that i'm going to be opening this now instead of like on actual halloween because i think it's be really cute it's like essentially if i want trick or treating but like via the mail over the course of 13 days if that makes any sense but i love this little baggie i think this is so singing cute uh, let's go ahead and see if i can take everything out without oh my gosh okay <laughs> this is my new favorite thing and i think this is so smart um so let's go ahead there's like a little canyon here and there's a little what is this a gummy eyeball I don't know if this is candy or an eraser so we're just gonna not eat this right now but these are my favorite things like the sour punch straws my favorite the mini sour punch straws from target i'll post pictures on the screen unrelated to anything but genuinely my favorite things but my new favorite thing is that for day 13 there's a whole washi stand which i absolutely love and what better way to hold all of your washi tapes then with a creativity and ink washi stand i have my tweezers somewhere um so with the creativity and ink washi stands they do have a plastic film on them for your protection so i usually just like to take very pointy tweezers and poke at them towards the bottom of the stand so that way like when i do scratch it because i will um each, it's in a part that you won't really be able to see and then you can just take off the plastic and it looks so cute uh and then there is also one on the back side of this Huh, see how clear that is? Wow. And I love like the little double sidedness of the tapies. I think it's supposed to go in this direction because it's the same direction as like the ghosties on um the tape itself. But that's fine. So this is I don't know if this is like a paper backing on this one or if this is not a backing at all and I'm not supposed to be peeling this guy up. But it feels like 
from my experience, all of Ansel's washi stands have had the bottom of them have acrylic film on them as well, or like a plasticky film on them as well. Um, but they're also usually like a sparkly bottom. This one is not a sparkly bottom, or I guess it's like sparkly overall. Yeah, I think all three of the washi stands that I have, because I have the birthday one, the 50th one, and the Pixar Pier one, they all have um, like sparkly this and like acrylic on here. But these are just normal plain Janey ones, and I don't think this is a film, because this just feels like a regular, just like solid bottom to, I guess, protect it from the ground, if that makes any sense. And wow, okay, so, and you can like lift this up, and it's gonna be so stunning. Okay, so let's go ahead, and I'm not gonna put the five millimeters on here just because i want to say angela's tapes hold nine or angela's washi stands hold nine washi tapes so if we had 13 days one of them is a stand which leaves us 12 days two of the days are the five millimeters we'll have 10 tvs so hopefully we can fit most of them if not all of them on here and i'll try to put them in the order that they came in i want to say i won't be able to fit the last one on here which low-key makes me a little bit sad <laughs> but also uh, i think it's fine <gasps> wait no oh my gosh okay hold the phone hold all of the phones okay this is my new favorite thing this is a little bit of a tight squeeze and it doesn't close all the way but they all do technically fit so i'm gonna say all 10 of them will fit on here and again like i do just personally like to store my five millimeters elsewhere um because i do pull these in to every single spread on a regular basis but how cute is this like just standing there holding on my washies looking all cute wow okay i'm here for all this so these again are definitely like a little bit more of a snug fit i think what i'm gonna do is take this one out because this one i would be more inclined to just use on a regular basis and then we'll have these nine on here and there will be a little bit of wiggle room i don't know what i like better the wiggle room or having them be all completely tied up um, not tight but just like tightly put together kind of a thing and then wow okay no i think i like that a little bit better so <laughs> this is what it looks like and it's just so stinking cute there is definitely room for like a 10 millimeter if you wanted to put a 10 millimeter on here um but either way it's still just too stunning to not so yeah that is everything that came in the creativity and ink halloween advent e tip situation let me know if you guys picked this up as well let me know if you guys liked the unboxings so if angela does a christmas time unboxing if you guys want to see that as well kind of thing um but yeah that is everything for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed and as per usual let's just pause take a little bit of a breather take a bit of a chill pill and a deep breath in deep breath out and repeat after me my voice matters just remember everywhere you go in life that your voice does matter you have a voice for a reason um and don't forget to use it whenever you feel safe and comfortable to do so because you do know that sometimes like in the situations where you do need to use your voice and speak up it is very much so a terrifying situation so don't forget to stand up for yourself whenever you feel safe and comfortable enough to do so express yourself as authentically as you can whenever you feel safe and comfortable enough to do so and also remember that no is a complete sentence and if people don't get that get that person out of your life kind of thing um but yeah, we're gonna do whatever you need to do to be the most amazing and sparkling being because you guys in the next one bye guys